Happy Planner people. I just wanted to uh, do a flip today of my February planner before I dismantle her. And this is going to be real quick because I haven't changed a whole lot. So let's get started. First of all, I'm using this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous planner from Jillio. This is the Blush Pink Craco. And I'm going to bring it closer so you can appreciate it. It is so pretty. Um, to be honest, I have seen a little bit of maybe it getting a smidge dirty from being carried every day this month. Um, yeah, you can really see it here. So I'm going to, oops, I shouldn't show you my hangnails. Sorry. I should really, um, try to find something to clean that up. But you know, that's the danger of having a very light colored planner. I did buy this pre-loved and it, it did have a little bit of that on there when I bought it. It was a horrible, horrible transaction. So I felt lucky to get it at all. So anyway, let's start. So I'm using Coco Daisy's kit and it was super cute this month. It was all about Paris and love and these cute little dogs. So I enjoyed this kit a lot. I do have 30 millimeter rings in this planner. I find that I really like the medium Campania with the 30 millimeter rings so I can stuff it. Um, so here's my little fly leaf that I've got a journal card clip to that came with the kit. I really like this Oxyfix dashboard that I bought. It's the one that has kind of the scallop top and you can um, stick a notepad in there. And I do have to trim the notepad just a smidge to make it fit perfect in there, but these Coco Daisy notepads work great once you do that. So I just kind of keep a running shopping list and just mark things off as I'm done. This is one of the dashboards. They've kind of started doing this with one of the dashboards lately where you get different sections and you can fill it in. Here's my dashboard dedicated to my cat who will probably make an appearance before the video is over, I'm sure. I have started carrying this Moon Phases printout. I don't know, I just think it's cute. So I blatantly stole this idea from somebody else. So I've been trying to find a way to carry some stickers with me without them getting bent up and ruined. So I have been trying to keep the stickers in my back pocket here, but then of course I have to fold them or I have to try to put them in here, which, you know, works, but sometimes you have to cut the sheets down and whatever. So I saw on somebody else's video where they had taken this sticker paper and they just slapped some stickers on there and it's just so genius. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a little pause. Um, anyway, so I cut down one of these sticker paper sheets to the size of the personal size inserts and I put some of my Coco Daisy stickers on there so I could just have it with me if I need to do planning on the go. And it worked out really, really great. And I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but that way they stay nice and flat. They don't get squished up and I always have some on hand. So then here's another dashboard. I haven't been getting very fancy with my dashboards. I just am very short on time uh, lately with school. So um, I have this insert from, I think this is Filofax that I just keep some cards in from different planner um, supply stores on Etsy. And this is when I start my February calendar. So um, I've had this in here before and I finally have my vacation schedule now for 2020. So I filled that out. And this is just a card from last month. I think it's a nice saying, so I kept it in here. And this is from Cloth and Paper, which is super hard to read for me because I'm old and have terrible eyes. But 
I just think this vellum they use feels so nice. I'm keeping it in here anyway. So, um, this came in the kit from Coco Daisy. It's this acetate that's super cute. So I cut it so that Simon was on here. And then it's nice against the white background. And then I've had these in here before. I don't really use them to their potential, but I think sometime I will. So that's just like birthdays and whatnot for 2020. And then there's also 2021. Here is a piece of acetate that came in the kit. So I did go with, what are these dividers? Dividers that um, I alternated between pink and black. And then I kind of regretted using the black because it's really hard to see that tab. I mean, what it says. So, live and learn. Okay, so I've already got March um, monthly calendar in here. But this was February's. I like to keep these in here because they have the nice tabs on them. So, if I need to go back and look at what my schedule was for the previous month, I have it in here. So here was February's monthly uh, layout. And I'm going to skip these. I don't need to go through. Oh, I have through last October in here. This came in the kit as well. I just put that against the black. I thought that was kind of pretty. It's like a rose gold foiled vellum. And then, so my first one was my monthly. So I guess I have that in pink with gold on there. And now I'm using a black divider with gold. And I think if the writing were thicker and not in cursive, it would be easier to read. So here was my weekly section. And I am getting a ton of stuff from Coco Daisy every month. I'm just not using all of it. But the problem is I don't want to cancel any of my kits because I use stuff out of every single kit. I just don't use it all. So I have a hard time convincing myself to cancel anything. So this was February's weekly. I only keep one month of weeklies in here. This acetate came out of the kit. And here is my daily. I'm noticing these dividers are nice, but they're just cardstock and I'm noticing my tabs are getting a little bent. And it, part of the reason is because I have 30 millimeter rings. So when I close my planner, it's like real close to this pen loop. And then these are my dailies. And I don't do them every day. Just when I have a ton of stuff to remember to do. So a lot of these I actually end up not using. But they're so cute. I do wish they would redesign these. They've been the same, you know. And I don't know. I think they could mix it up a little bit. But the design on them was so cute. And this is notes. So here's another dashboard from the Coco Daisy kit. And then I have like some stuff in here that I gotta remember not to show you. This like schedules and phone numbers and let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, vehicle maintenance. Oh, here's my secret shame. This is my AliExpress orders and I only keep track of the ones that I use hidden links for, and that's all I'm going to say about it. I have some extra note pages. This is some uh, Tamoe River paper I had bought from Paper Penguin a long time ago that I found, so I just put that in there. But the printed stuff is from the SEM plans. Let me see if I can find one that I can show you without revealing my secret information. Nope, there really isn't, sorry. 
go to her store on Etsy and you can look at it. She's got lots of different designs. So this is my miscellaneous and I used to do a tracker in here. Um, in February, I did not do a tracker. So here's a dashboard. And now I have dividers up here on top to kind of divide up my miscellaneous section. So I did a little bit more decorating uh, with these. This is um, took the place of my tracker this month. I did a section for school and I have two classes um, in my last semester of school here. And it's just ridiculous how much work I have to get done by the end of the semester. So I am, um, oh, here comes my cat. So I had to write it all out and to keep track of it because I was finding that, you know, I'd get home from work and, oh boy, I've got, you know, like five hours to get homework done that I forgot about. So I have it all written out in chronological order. And then I have some notes about school. Then I move into my list section and, um, you know, pretty much, you know what lists are. So everything from like my current Gilio planners. I don't have very many Vanderspeck planners, books I want to read when I'm done with school, my wish list, things I need to buy that are non-urgent. And um, some extra paper for, sorry about my cat. Um, she's very vocal. <laughs> so then I have my bills and I don't really want to go into that too much. Oh, I haven't really started recording too much, but so I just check it off as I pay it. So, and I just keep it in here. I've still got probably December's in here. Some loan balance information that I'm not going to show you and some other sensitive financial information. So that's pretty much it. I don't keep anything in here right now. And I do keep my pen. It obviously is not going to fit in this pen loop because it's kind of chunky, but I just clip it on here and it works just fine. I do have something back here. I have no idea what it is. So. Um, okay. Homework assignment that's done. So. I really am not utilizing my pockets to their full extent other than the front where the, all the decorations are. So I'm really sad to say goodbye to this kit because it was super cute. I wasn't really too jazzed with the kit for March when I first saw the sneak peek. But then after I saw an unboxing, I was like, oh, that's super cute. So I'm kind of excited about March again. So it's time for me to take February apart and start putting together March. And I think I'm going to go back to using a tracker. And I don't know what else to tell you. That's pretty much it for my little planner. It's actually working out so good for me. I take this to work every day. Like if I'm running errands or something on the weekend, obviously I'm not going to carry this around in my purse because it's just too heavy. But, um, you know, in an emergency, then I'd use my phone because my work schedule syncs right to my phone. But um, I really like it. So you can see here, if I take my pen off, I'll show you where these, see the tabs are like right, right up there. So by the time I put my pen in there on the pen loop, I am squashing those tabs a little bit. So, but that's okay. I like the 30 millimeter rings. So I want to stick to that. Matter of fact, my planner for next month I bought pre-loved, it did not have 30 millimeter rings, so I have some on the way from Jellio right now. So, and that is about all I have to tell you. And uh, thanks for joining me, bye.